let's get into it. All right, so this is going to be a lot. This is my topic. Um, Microsoft versus the FTC in court. Mm. You know, we tried, I personally have tried to avoid this stuff. <laughs> but shout out to, to Addict and, and, and you guys saying, look, we got to talk about it. So much stuff that came out. Um, I'm not going to go through everything, but what I'm going to try to do is go over some key points. So of things that we learned. Perfect. So, yes. <laughs> but I will be talking for a while, so please bear with me. Anyway, so look, uh, one of the first ones is that court, pr court proceedings reveal Activision forced Xbox into a better revenue share for Call of Duty. Sarah Bond testified that uh, Bobby Kotick demanded special treatment, specifically a favorable revenue share, and threatened to pull Call of Duty from Xbox platforms if Microsoft didn't agree. And they basically said they, you know, they kind of acquiesced because they felt that Xbox players, they wanted to keep that, their expectations met. They uh, originally only gave a 80 Okay, they said they occasionally do 80-20 revenue split, which I believe that was asked for, rather than the traditional 70-30, which they normally give. But they felt it was critical to getting that contact. content. Number two. And they chose the right one. Yeah. Number two, an email from PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan <laughs> was shared in court and reported on by IGN. Um, it showed that Jim was unconcerned by Microsoft's acquisition of ABK in the email, I believe dated uh, January 20th, 2022, two days after Microsoft announced the intent to purchase Activision Blizzard. Ryan's relaxed attitude at, at the deal at the time counters his public facing concern comments mm. since then that emerged in a year and a half that followed so but basically who produced that um I, who produced ign produced well what, what, yeah I, I, ign snitch what well, is snitch they just reveal what the it's <laughs> called snitching <laughs> I don't know why we get the ign but I, okay just saying, it's just i'm just saying okay so, so gunner went out there <laughs> all the letters said as far as I mean, what Ryan wrote in the email is that um, it's not an Xbox exclusivity, exclusivity play at all so he said that and he mm -hmm. said they're thinking better than that meaning Xbox they have the cash to make moves like this I've spent a fair amount of time with both Phil and and mm. Bobby over the past day. I'm pretty sure we will continue to see Call of Duty on PlayStation for many years to come. We have some good stuff cooking. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm not complacent, and I'd rather this hadn't happened, but we'll be okay, more than okay. So clearly this statement is in stark contrast to statements he has made since then, mm. and this was in that email. Day two, Phil Dominus Maximus Aurelius Spencer. It's called to the stand. He discussed that the console wars are a social construct doesn't want to count his community out but that Xbox is in third place he said Sony is an aggressive competitor that spends its revenues on doing things to try and reduce Xbox survival on the market he also mm. said Sony is actively signing third party games to skip our platform and that's when he was questioned over Microsoft acquiring exclusive content then point four Phil went on to reveal that they acquired Bethesda after learning that Starfield might become a PlayStation exclusive Exclusive. Phil revealed that Sony regularly plays, pays competitors to skip the platform, and Microsoft mm. felt it needed its own Bethesda to compete, to own Bethesda to compete. Phil states, when we acquire Zenimax, one of the impetus for that is that Sony had done a deal for Deathloop and Ghostwire to pay Bethesda to not ship those games on Xbox. So the discussion about Starfield, when we heard that Starfield was potentially also going to end up skipping Xbox, we can't be in a position as a third place console where we fall further behind on our content ownership, so we had to secure content to remain viable in the business. We also mm. learned that Phil is the decision maker on Xbox exclusive exclusivity also, as a result, we also learned Bethesda's Indiana Jones will be exclusive to Xbox. So that was another one. Uh, point five out of all these things. I'm trying to just. I love everything. I got set, we got six <laughs> points. You're cooking. <laughs> but, I, cook. <laughs> but this is one was another major bombshell. Phil Spencer swore under oath that Microsoft won't pull Call of Duty from PlayStation. Phil committed to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation to the FTC lawyer multiple times, arguing that it doesn't make financial sense to pull the game from Sony's platform and it would harm the Xbox brand if it do, if it did so. I would raise my hand, he says. I would do whatever it takes, he told Judge Corley in court. My commitment is and my testimony is that we will continue to ship 
future versions of Call of Duty on Sony's PlayStation 5. And he went on further because I think the lawyer went on to say, hey, so, you know, like just PlayStation 5 and basically said for any further iterations of PlayStation. And whatever happens to these dudes. <laughs> he went whatever on Whatever they say, happen to turn into, if they happen to be an app. <laughs> <laughs> so he went on to state that, yeah, whatever. He said, provided that Sony accepts the deal, right, that mm -hmm. they will continue to do they that said, if you don't bend the knee you don't get it b <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but put, put the weight on it you know what i'm saying so um yeah he swore under oath without looking at any future terms that need the ftc asked further can you swear under oath without without looking at any future terms that need to be hashed out you'll ship all versions of call of duty that may exist on all versions of playstation that may exist in the next 10 years phil dominus maximus aurelia spencer says that's my goal yes so that was huge under oath. And mm -hmm. yeah, those are the major, it was way more stuff, but there's a kind of the major ones I want yeah, to focus. That's yeah. the gist of it. And yeah, a lot to unpack here. So any standouts for y'all this week, how we feeling about all this information? Let's start with you, Lord Attic. You know, you brought this to my attention about the Final Fantasy stuff. You brought a lot of stuff to my attention. You actually pay more attention to this stuff than me. <laughs> so what's going on? I can't on? help it because people keep tagging me and the stuff on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Like if anything I've seen in this is, uh, so Sony played themselves, mm. you know, PlayStation played themselves. They went out there. They were being aggressive with Deathloop and uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. And my in the moment they because, you know, they, they got the, the appetizers and then they looked at the main course, which was Starfield and it's uh, Xbox and feel like nah, yeah. we done. We done. And not mm. only because they went. And use those type. And, you know, first off, Xbox has done this. We're not going to act like Xbox hasn't done this. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've never seen a company be this aggressive doing it. Like yeah. shutting entire publishers down almost all of their games. If you think about it, there was a time where, where Sony was going to get all of Bethesda's games pretty mm. much. All of Square Enix's games mm. pretty much. The majority of both of these publishers were going to be exclusive or the majority of the games are only going to be on playstation obviously square enix they've done you know little games for you know smaller projects for you know the nintendo switch mm -hmm. but what happens if microsoft didn't buy bethesda yo you know is Elder Scrolls six going to be only on playstation like mm -hmm. what is the difference between Microsoft coming in and just buying the studio so that can't happen to them. Mm. And PlayStation say, we don't need to buy it. We're just going to lock down all your games. Mm. What's the difference? Because that would have been Deathloop, Ghostwire Talk, Star Starfield. Exclusive to PlayStation. Imagine that's this year. That's how, you, that's how you circumvent going to court. Mm. Right? You if, you, if you're just buying games, the FTC and everybody else, they don't care about yeah, that. Yeah, they don't care about that. The when you start doing made. merges and stuff like that, yeah. see, Sony is smart enough to understand, I can just hurt you by taking away the game. Mm. I don't need to own her. Mm. I can just get the milk, mm. right? Microsoft understood the 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 grander scheme. That's why the email says what it says, but go ahead, Attic. Yeah. Attic and, and I think that that's my biggest thing, where it's like, look, like, Regardless what happens, Sony brought this on themselves. They they're going out there being very aggressive, and it's one thing. And not only mentioned that they they get in the time exclusives, they're also locking down missions, mm -hmm. locking down content, content out of games. Mm -hmm. You know, they they did it with Destiny for years. Oh, they're doing yeah. it right now with uh, they did it with Marvel's Avengers with Spider Man. Mm -hmm. They're doing it with, uh, uh, and, and then people say, well, you know, Spider Man uh, that that's their title. They 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 have every then why was it in Midnight Suns? Why was Spider Man mm -hmm. on Xbox and Midnight Suns? So clearly, they could have been in Marvel Avengers, but Sony stepped in and and, and made sure it was only on there. Well, they could keep that Spider Man though. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's Zuma <laughs> yeah. class, yeah, yeah, Zuma yeah, class yeah, Spider Man. Zuma Spider Man. <laughs> Xbox dodged like, a bullet with that one. They were like, Woo. <laughs> it's just and you know because they were so aggressive, and they were. You know, locking down whole publishers, mm -hmm. Microsoft had to be more aggressive. They, mm -hmm. And, you know, Microsoft did this in the 360. They did a, a mm -hmm. I would say they did a lighter approach than, than PlayStation did in the PS4. Mm -hmm. You know, they got stuff like Mass Effect, Bioshock. Yeah. They did get a few exclusive content on their platform, but it seems like Sony locking down whole publishing get arms, like mm -hmm. all of the games. More. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's just like... Microsoft was at his position after the 360 where they saw this happen and they're like, we're not going to go back and do that again because what's going to happen 
is we're going to pull up Bethesda, snatch Starfield. We're going to pull up to Activision, snatch a couple years of marketing for Call of Duty, and snatch maybe the next Crash Bandicoot. Mm -hmm. And then what's going to happen? They're going to be like, oh, well, we don't want to work with you on Elder Scrolls Mm Six. You know, the the, the price of the brick went up. Starfield was a mad success. (laughs) So it's just like terminology. PlayStation X, PlayStation put Xbox in a situation where we got all this money in the bank. Do we really want to deal with other people that own the IPs that we work with? Do we really want to have another cryotech situation where we got to negotiate with them on who owns Rise? Mm. Yeah. No, we're not doing that. Yeah. So they just bought the whole company because PlayStation's being aggressive like that. The consequences what now? They're not getting Starfield. They're not getting Indiana Jones. All right. But I'll guess see. what? If PlayStation bought these companies, no one would even question them. Mm. You, very interesting, you know. Very interesting, and it, and it's just like as far as like the Final Fantasy stuff. They, Phil Spencer, pretty much came out there openly and said, you know, they paid to have sixteen not on Xbox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it was, I it's just like one of the. It, I understand that everyone is guilty for this, mm-hmm. but I've never seen companies snatch entire companies' games, all of them. Because if you really think about it, they they didn't get Redfall because that probably wasn't enough in development where they see a clear picture of what it was going to be at the time. Mm-hmm. Imagine if they didn't buy Bethesda. Yeah, they'd be in trouble. No Starfield this year. Going to be exclusive to PlayStation yeah. on top of no Starfield. Yeah. It's I'd just have... like, look, like I remember. PlayStation just has such a dominant effect on the industry that the only way to truly compete and people say oh they could compete making great games they can but at the end of the day google tried to pop in and snatch a bunch of stuff didn't work out for them mm-hmm. they're doing uh, amazon's doing like luna right now they, it, you know and i get that's not traditional console making it is not easy to compete with a company like playstation and nintendo oh waverly brown going at you he said i don't care what he said he said but it's a good but, thing um, when xbox buys whole publishers that's right it is because it's the same thing Mm. Look, it, the only difference is one wrote a bigger mm. check than the other. <laughs> well, one That's has the, the only money thing. to do it. Y'all wanted them to compete, right? Shut up. <laughs> it's like, look, like, y'all I, want them to compete, but y'all don't want the deal to go through. Now we want to compete. Let us compete. <laughs> Let us compete. You want us? To, you want us to do better, right? Let us do better. <laughs> Let us do better. Don't don't sit there. If you want and, a and real you know competition, <laughs> don't sit there and say, "Oh no, you know Microsoft, y'all y'all should not do." No, do not be opposed to it. Be for it, so you, you can see you, what you real know what competition the funny thing is. is, King. <laughs> what, what, when the company that that owns like War uh, Frame and all of them, when they were bought, guess who was one of the bidders, King? Mm. <laughs> PlayStation. Mm-hmm. We heard Bethesda was a. Uh, they were bidding on Bethesda. We heard they were bidding on Warner Brothers. It mm-hmm. seems like the only the only person you should blame is Sony for losing the bids. <laughs> <laughs> they, they ain't got the money. That's like going to the strip club with a bunch of honey. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you, and, and you in the $1,000 section. You yeah, know what your wallet's looking like, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, man. You put in that low bid. That's the, they put in an eBay bid. <laughs> Yo, that's the eBay joint. <laughs> <laughs> they low, they just low to, low just to get, just to get it popping. <laughs> just to yeah, start like, it. Let's just see what they want. <laughs> oh, hey, man. So, hey, so, so, so it's like, let me go to the ATM real quick. No, they got nothing in that so, ATM. So King, <laughs> hey, yo, Microsoft did the buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft was like, whatever they say, give me that. The buy it now? <laughs> so oh, man. Low budget Yo, because it be that dude that do the low joint just to keep it yeah. going. <laughs> trying try to watch the timer go down. <laughs> to, let me put in $100. Oh, not even. And, and, and the, oh, that's the funny man. part why I laugh when people say, you know, organic growth yeah. with oh, Sony man. buying yeah. stuff. It's like, at the end of the day, PlayStation's been bidding on all of these companies. They just Ooh. keep getting outbid by all the trillion dollar Man, companies. We've, we've already yeah, refuted organic. Be. Once Bungie was, was purchased, was <laughs> that kind of yeah, destroyed just, all that. It comes yeah. down to it's like, you know, people say, well, PlayStation's not worried about what Xbox is doing. Then why do they keep bidding on the same damn companies that Xbox is bidding on? Mm. Because they know what's going on here. It's not a coincidence that they never really, you know, uh, Grew their company to this degree till Xbox started dropping billion here, billion there, and buying all these companies. Because mm-hmm. 
Sony has always feared Microsoft in this area, but yep. Microsoft has never yeah. put this kind of money into the industry. Let me ask and now that they are doing it, Sony is having to escalate their stuff. Okay, you know, Insomniac. Who says a place if Microsoft never would have bought those companies in 2018, mm -hmm. would they have bought uh insomnia games mm. it's debatable they wouldn't have they would have kept working with them close by never actually that's committing right. and fully buying the company mm -hmm. that's why it irritates me when people sit there and they act like sony's not scared of the landscaping of mm. the business i, I guess what hey, king did it that's is in sony working their way towards a cloud disputing type of uh technology aren't they doing that yeah well you know you know imitation is the sincerest form of flattery <laughs> You know, they, they looked over and they was like, ooh, we <laughs> they're over there doing what they doing. Let's 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 get this little fake console thing they gonna put out. Let's, let's drum up some business over here for our cloud service for this PlayStation 5 that seems to be lacking. Jim knows what's up. Um I, I'll get to it. I, I don't wanna I don't know. We got, yeah. well, let, let, let me yeah. finish, bro. Finish but, uh, and I gotta, I, I, wait, yeah. We got fourteen hundred, almost fifteen hundred people go. here, oh, only six hundred likes. Go. Listen, listen, man. Come on now. We need to set, uh, save the Bronx snake. <laughs> <laughs> Just the regular snake the in a Bronx. Bronx. Hey, hey, hey. Snake. The regular. You know what? Uh, the reason I was late coming into this, uh -huh. you know, wasn't because I was playing Final Fantasy 16. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, okay. Oh. It's because I was too busy locking up mm -hmm. King Buckwow. Oh, okay. bitch. And, 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 you know, up. We, 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 we have this key. It's called a thousand likes, and that, that, that comes undone. Mm -hmm. You know, Buck Wild has been locked into the abyss. And <laughs> like until we get a thousand Buck likes, <laughs> you can't come out. Okay. I, I have myself built the key to oh, Buck Wild. This man locked You ever seen Supernatural <laughs> Season 5? Yeah, that's what I did to know. Buck Wild. <laughs> and until that gets to a thousand likes, he's staying there. <laughs> I want Buck. <laughs> so don't you buck Before up Before we me. pass this off, I did, I did want to ask Attic this because you, you, you're on an uh, interesting line of, of, of thought process with this whole Sony's movement. I was going to ask you like, so in your opinion, based on the way Sony was moving with locking, like I said, all these exclusive, we fought about Starfield, you know, do you feel they were, because right now the talk is we're doing this whole thing because we're worried about, the FTC is doing this whole thing because we're worried about harming competition, right? Competent, you know, that, that, that this deal would harm the, the scope. Do you feel that if this deal, I mean, didn't happen, if Sony was allowed to do all that, you know, um, Starfield purchases and so on and so forth with exclusive, that they were on a mission to harm Xbox or to get them out of there. Because that's what I'm seeing some of the talk as well. Do you agree with that or are you saying not as much? It's all hyperbole. I feel like PlayStation is going to do what PlayStation does best. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they compete. When they see Microsoft stepping up their competition, they can't do what Microsoft does. Let's right. keep that 100%. Mm -hmm. You know, they could buy Square Enix. They could buy companies like that. But the difference is it's easier. It's like I said multiple times. It's easier to convince your board members to mm -hmm. drop $8 billion when you got $50, million, 50 billion in cash. Mm -hmm. Sony could easily get the money to buy a corporation like that. They could, they could raise billions of dollars. They have plenty of assets. They could use that against it. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is... It's a huge risk to ask your board members, yo, let me let me uh <laughs> let me spend like 30% of what our comp whole damn company's worth. Mm. Let me spend 30% and go buy this. Hopefully mm -hmm. it will work out for the best. So what do they do? The next best thing. Okay, Microsoft can go out there, they can throw out that money and be buying all these companies. We're gonna strategically plant games mm -hmm. where we fit, see fit. And I feel like you know, it started with the Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah. They saw success there. Then they're, okay, let's see what else we can do. You know, we can't buy Bethesda, but we can snatch Deathloop. Right. We can snatch, snatch Ghostwire Tokyo. Snatch and then we can snatch Starfield. Like King and said. Microsoft heard that. Because I think Microsoft, before, if they never would have approached them for a Starfield, I don't think Microsoft would have bought Bethesda. Mm. Because I, I think that when it was just Square Enix, Microsoft was like, that's a Japanese company helping a fellow Japanese company with business. They've worked in the past. Right. It makes relationship. perfect sense. But then when Sony crosses the pond, <laughs> it's Sony would have that after that Bethesda. They like, hold yeah, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, okay. Looking at my girl, 
yo. You can stay in your projects looking at your girls, but when you come across that street to my projects, my chicks, it's not as a problem. Yo, Sony pulled up. It was doing yeah, too Sony much. Sony pulled up. was like, hey, ma. He's like, nah, B. Get up out of here, son. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's why I feel oh, when man. they heard Starfield might be exclusive yeah, to PlayStation, they're says. like, look, even if it's just one game, two games, three games, mm -hmm. we're talking years of development. That one game is equivalent yeah. to three years of making three to five years of making that game. Yeah. By the time that studio gets around to making almost, if not almost the end generation is going to be over, we're going to be in the next generation. Keep in mind, Starfield took like five years to make. Mm -hmm. So by the time their next game comes out, we're going to be in the next generation. And with one investment, Sony could have snatched that whole generation of that game. Yeah. All we know, Starfield could be the next great thing, the next game mm -hmm. of the decade. And Microsoft and Sony was willing to take the risk mm -hmm. to try to make those an exclusive. Now, Sony don't have really the, the free money to go in there and just be dropping money and snatching the whole company. I think they would probably be more up to it now because Microsoft's doing it. But I do think part of them is like this publisher thing's over. You know, even if Microsoft buys Activision, mm -hmm. I think in the back of their head, you said Microsoft's never Microsoft going to try this again. <laughs> like yeah, I feel like if are. Microsoft comes out at the with the W at the end of this Activision deal, mm -hmm. Sony and Microsoft know we're probably not going to do this again. Like we oh, might buy smaller <laughs> publishers, but I doubt they're going to aim for like one of the big the big oh, ones. Oh no, again. no, they're going to do it again. Sega's right there, baby. <laughs> no, but see, <laughs> Sega's yeah, not baby. a big publisher like Activision, Ubisoft, EA. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I see. I get where you're going with it. They're not gonna go and get like um what's that uh embracer group, right? Mm. They won't do that. But they'll go to embrace them, but like remember the stuff I asked you to hold? <laughs> Send that over here. <laughs> oh, your, your Sega, you know how we do? Yeah, let's go. Mm. So little things like that, Sega and then once Sega separates themselves from those pachinko machines and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. and, they already separated. And, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. They already got themselves prettied up. Ready, they ready for the wedding. <laughs> they ready. <laughs> she got her hair and her nails done. She getting her eyebrows done. The lashes is in deck. Like, she got the BBL. Ready. Then, oh, the man. Yes. Oh. The, yo, and Microsoft <laughs> just want to do this. <laughs> and the and the last thing I'll say before I hand it off to, yeah, to King, gotta get his boss. Saul's gotta well, get his boss. King or Saul. Well, King, King, King I, I don't know this one out. I, I don't know. This one out. Well, no, see, the best thing that came out of this mm -hmm. is Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! Because you, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? If you really sit there and you Jesus. think about it, if you really think about it. And now that we know this game, because even myself, I was told it was an exclusive, but even I was told by a person I trust, mm -hmm. but I said, you full of it because <laughs> mm -hmm. I was convinced this game was a multi-plat mm -hmm. and the fact that they had this in the chamber and mm -hmm. never shot it publicly yeah. is they crazy. The they could have easily imagine this open up last uh, the, the next game three or whatever it is mm -hmm. has an Indiana Jones amazing gameplay. At the end, it says Xbox exclusive. Yeah. The, the 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 stadium would have would, would have looked crazy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, King, King is messy. Look, we got to get some his boss. He's been very patient. Yo, I, I was so happy when it was like it's exclusive. <laughs> we got about two hundred and eighty or buck. Don't get out. Oh man, Boy, they to, almost there. They almost there. Oh yeah, yeah two hundred and eighty. Well, no, okay. I'm, it's like th oh, close to three hundred likes we need from you guys. Oh, I'm gonna keep Buck locked up. I don't care if Buck comes out or not. Guy, but I'm gonna keep him locked up. Holding characters got hostage, but uh, we're gonna move on. <laughs> That's some PlayStation stuff. Yeah. Lord, <laughs> make, making content exclusive. <laughs> Lord Addict. It would make, more, <laughs> it would make more sense that Buck is being locked behind the <laughs> Man, I o lock an IOP <laughs> down, season man. Season pass, season pass Buck. This guy here. Anyway, Lord Solve. Lots to unpack. Tons of bombshells. News. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? with this whole situation, how you feel about some of this information that's come out? I think, you know, we've been talking about this for so long now that what a lot of people aren't really addressing Ooh, is the finality of what's happening here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. One way or another, something's going to go down finally, yeah, right? Maybe next week. Maybe next week, right? Yeah, as soon week. as next week, mm -hmm. right? So the finality of it is what makes it interesting because now all the cards are on the table, all the dirt is getting slung. <laughs> and, and when you see it, see, this is the thing, right? We're all looking at 
the proceedings and the things that we're hearing, how stupid some of these questions are that they're asking. <laughs> and it feels like it's the blind leading the blind. And when you think about the 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 court system mm -hmm. in the United States, there's a lot of that that happens on every level, whether it be something like this on the corporate level or whether it be on the on the ground level with, you know, somebody going to jail for X amount of time for something they didn't do because of incompetence. Uh, so my thing is listening to all these arguments. Right. And in the back of my mind, also thinking that there might be a political agenda behind mm -hmm. this. I'm just like, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know if it the obvious thing that we're seeing right. is going to come to pass and the right thing is going to happen, which is the injunction should not pass mm -hmm. because they, the, the arguments are weak, right? The mm -hmm. arguments are just weak. And for no other reason other than the arguments are just weak. But I just don't have faith in the system of that course. that is going to happen, yeah, yeah. right? So I'm just like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, I know that Microsoft, they're not dumb. You know, they have a plan B, a plan C, a plan whatever, mm -hmm. if this doesn't go through, right? And it's any number of different permutations of the things that we've been talking about yes. where you break off Call of Duty or you buy this, you know, again, uh, you have an embrace a holding on to the home. <laughs> uh, King, King uh, may be proof right with that one. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So um, I just, I do, it's interesting and it's kind of exciting because there's going to be finality to this. And I don't know that it's going to go the way that we think it's going to go based on, based on just politics based on just politics and the fact that we're looking at it as gamers and people understand and and talk about the industry and we know that these arguments seem stupid and bogus mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter if there's an agenda if right. there's an agenda it, it's not going to matter right so that ultimately is the most interesting i think when when looking at the specific stuff that's come out mm -hmm. um the stuff that like made me raise eyebrows was really the Bobby Kodak stuff mm, and the, the idea strong that, arm. like the strong arming and, and and again Xbox put themselves in this position right with the Xbox One they they did yeah, right sure. they they had this relationship before during the 360 generation mm -hmm. they did not have that leverage anymore in the S Xbox One generation so I get it but to the point where it's weird that Bobby Kotick would be like, hey, this thing that it that that it that does numbers everywhere. <laughs> nah, you need to give me this much money yep. for me to even think about putting it on your platform. Yep. And and that is that. And also, you have to pay that much money, which the other guys aren't paying. Yep. Right. And you can't talk about it on your platform as if it's going to your platform until X amount of time is Facts. passed. Yep. You got the marketing rights. And they strong. It's like, that was the, if think about gangs that that was. That's, that's a, that's a, that guy. bro, that's a sticker. Oh, for sure. King, that's a stick. Where we from, that's a stick. It's yeah. like, yo, what you gonna do? You yep. gonna, you no, gonna it's do. It's like you go in the store, yeah. the dude, like, okay, let's say you brought an Arizona. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so Sony goes in and buys an Arizona for 99 cents. Mm-hmm. You go in there, put your Arizona on the counter, and the dude say a buck fifty. <laughs> Facts. And you said, "What? I'm thirsty. It's hot outside. He just paid it out. I don't care what he paid. You, and you shut up and you give me the buck fifty, and then you get out my store. Yeah. So sure. either you drink or you go. Yeah. What you going? And do? you got to pay the buck fifty because you thirsty. Yeah. yeah you thirsty. <laughs> you got no label on Arizona. Your logo Nothing. ain't nowhere near it. it. They don't promote yeah, it, nah. bro. That's yeah. And Sarah Brown, Sarah Brown was like, "Yeah, we bent the knee." Yes, we bent the knee because they figured they said, yeah, they could not to, to, to delight their customers. Right. They, they knew the importance of having Call of Duty on the platform for them to not have. And the fact, like you said, so think about the bluff that's called. Let's just say like Microsoft didn't want to do it. Think about how gangster you got to be as activists to be like, mm -hmm. so what if they say no? Yeah, that, that's kind well, of crazy. Call of Duty too. ain't on a lot of stuff. Yeah, you just be another one. You just be another one. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they turn around like, well, you don't even, we don't sell on your platform anyway. We don't care. Like, it, you know, it, it's, it's, it's mudslinging back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. um, but again, business prevailed yeah. and the right business move was to bend the knee, mm -hmm. even though they were being strong armed. Mm -hmm. um, so just that, the whole idea, when you think about all of that, right? And then for the dime to turn completely and be like, yeah, we're on the same side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, think about good. the relationship, right? Yeah, right. that's so existed relationship. Right. So you think about the how how frivolous and and <laughs> and, and, and that, that business dealings are. Like Facts. you could... You could be enemies, quote unquote enemies, yep. and if the, and if the numbers right, mm -hmm. that's all gone. Because that just I think like that's a little bit different. Okay. Um, when I get to when, when I, just okay. want, I don't want to jump in yeah. the segment. Okay, it's a little bit different. I, I I believe I have a different theory 
mm-hmm. on that. Yeah. yeah. My, my only thing I was going to jump in was just that, you know, now that you fast forward, then it's like, oh, mm-hmm. so you're going out of business.